Dart Monkey, Spike Factory, Banana Farm, and Fate Weaver Door. Guys, this might be the new best Spike Factory strategy in Bloon 2002. You can get some pretty insane farms with this loader, and you have good defense with the Dart Monkey and the Spike Factory. Plus, the Fate Weaver level 10 ability is just insane. So, today I'm gonna show you how to use the loader. Let's get it. Let's hop right into it. And also, guys, if you enjoy me showcasing new loadouts, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for me. It would mean the world to me. I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers, and only you can help me get it. But now, on to the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first Spike Factory strategy of today's video is going to be Dart, Spike Factory, and Farm with Fate Weaver Door. It's actually a pretty good loadout. I've seen a lot of people running it on Flexion recently, so I wanted to give it a shot um, of my own and see how we do here. So we're going to start with a Trip Dart right here. And then we'll be getting my um, Fate Weaver door on round one as well. Now, my opponent brought Sentai Churchill, which I honestly thought was pretty interesting. We're against Unbanner Lag XD, which this is eSport, by the way. If you guys didn't know. But um, yeah, Ch Sentai Churchill, definitely an interesting pick. So we'll have to um, wait and see what they're cooking with here. Let's get my Fate Weaver door down. Perfect. All right, good start for us. And we got the Trip Dart and the Fate Weaver down. Now, there could be like Bolt Alchemist Spike Factory for my opponent, but they're sending me green. So I think that's unlikely. They're sending me, well, no, they're back to reds. They're kind of just layering. Let's get sharp shots on my uh, dart monkey. Sharp shots, I should be able to defend this pretty well. Yeah, Fate Weaver cleans up pretty well. Okay. Well, I'm excited for this one. I'm very excited. I haven't really ran the strategy in a while, and when I've gotten Dart Spike Factory Farm, I normally go Churchill with it. But these days, I see all the kids going Fate Weaver Door with it. So that's why I wanted to switch it up a little bit. Looks like they're going with a Dartling on their side. All right, let's get my farm down. Dartling Sentai Churchill. Okay. Okay, okay. I assume it's a farm loadout because they are sending me red balloons, which if they were going an eco loadout, they'd probably be sending me blues right now. So I'm assuming they've got farm in their loadout. Let's upgrade my farm here. Perfect. Send them some pinks. We're going to get sharp shots on that. Yeah, there's the farm coming out from them. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. Let's get my balloon bot down here. And then we are going to need a crossbow on our side eventually, which I think I'll place the crossbow as high as possible right here. This is going to be my crossbow spot. We'll need that for round five. That will be an absolute necessity for us. Send them whites, get the crossbow up. All right, we're vibing. Do I need to cross path my crossbow or do we kind of just, I think I'm fine with it uncross path right now. We're actually kind of defending. I'll need to cross path it probably against black balloons or later, but right now this is actually defending without the cross path. So why would I spend the extra money, you know? Why would I spend the extra money if it's working right now for us, ladies and gentlemen? That's what I'm talking about. I love it, love to see it another farm down perfect uh black balloons are gonna force defense on my opponents and their current defense will not hold black balloons because their dartling needs to pop the black balloon layer for their sentai to hit the insides and with their current placements the dartling will get blocked so they're probably gonna use their sentai level three ability and then get another dartling down i guess is i actually might send them yellows i feel like yellows would do damage because they don't have sentai level three available and sentai is not very good against yellow balloons Okay, yeah, force tower boost on their end. I'll take that. I'll take a tower boost force any day of the week. I'll take that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for a spike factor on my side. We'll start to upgrade a little bit. Long life and all that jazz. They're sending me purples. I still have not crossed past my crossbow. And we've actually been able to defend every single round. That's actually kind of crazy to me. That we haven't needed to cross path. I guess the dart spots on this map are just really good. You know, I haven't really used dart on this map before, so I'm new to it, but the dart spots are just goaded here. So the plan on my side is I think I'll save up for a deadly spikes, believe it or not. I have, when I see people go this loadout, they normally go for a deadly spikes pretty early on. So, I mean, if they're doing it, I guess I'd follow suit. But we'll just send Zebra Blue Nico right now. Put a dart monkey on last right here. Okay, we forced the Hydrocopods on their end. Nice. I didn't really, really want to rush them to force it as well. We forced the Hydrocopods without sending, like, an actual rush. We just sent Zebra Blue Nico the entire time. So, I'll take that. All right, Deadly Spikes has been bought. We got Spold on our side. I've been greeting pretty hard this game, but my opponent's letting me greet. So, I mean, why not take the... Why not greet as much as possible if my opponent's letting me? All right, let's get Juggernaut on our end. Let's go for a plantation here. Okay, we're good. Don't hit the don't let those lead balloons hit my spike pile is important. I really don't want those lead balloons to hit my spike pile. They hit me sending camel leads. Let's get camel detection on my jug. Perfect. 
Yeah. We can't let spike we can't let lead balloons hit my spike power. I guess I could get white hot spikes on it, but I'd rather not spend that money. I'd rather just greed with the money. So I'd rather not spend it. Oh, a little bit of lag going on. Is he trying to lag switch me? Their name is Unbanner Lag XD. So and Esport has been known to lag switch people before. So I think there's a chance he they could try to do that against me, which would be quite annoying, but at the moment, it doesn't appear so. Now, what's their last target? Probably Ninja, right? It's probably Darling Farm Ninja for my opponent. It could be Spike Factory as well. Could be Spike Factory. Okay, they farm on their side. I'll probably go to like 1500 eco and then I'll stop. Will be my plan. 1500 should be a respectable amount. All right, there we go. Honestly, might... Let's go for a spold up here. Should be fine against those rainbows they sent me. Yeah, we're good. Go for another marketplace on my side. Uh, go for more Lobo Mariko. Since they're still eco, I can still eco, I think. Without much of a worry. Let's maybe hit the 2k mark. I think I'll send them a fortified BFB for sure. Fortified BFB should be a pretty good rush against their loadout. It is ninja. Look at that. They get a sticky uh, flash bomb up at the top. Fair enough. I'd like to... Okay, am I dead against these ceramics? I think I'm good. I think the spike pile handles. like to get up a central market there. Perfect. Send him one of these. They get a laser cannon on their side. They're going to need a flat. They're going to need a sticky bomb as well here. I might all out them. I feel like they die against an all out. With their loadout. They boost. Oh, they defend. No, they're dead. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. What? They died against one fortified BFB and they boosted and everything. Okay, well. There we go. I might revisit the Spike Factory strategy. I was honestly having fun with Darts Back Farm. That was a fun one. All right, guys, our next match of today's video, we're sticking with the same load of Darts Back Factory and Farm. We're against Red Laser Beam here, starting with their Dart Monkey. Nicely done. I'm going to start. Mm, on this map, I'm going to start with a sport. I'm going to start with a sport. I feel like this map's a little bit different how it works out than um than an inflection. So let's go to sport here. And let's go for my Fate Weaver Dora as well off the rip. They're starting with a trip dart on their side. Okay. They brought Smudge Cat Azealia as well, which I thought was pretty interesting. So Smudge Cat Dart coming out from them. Very, very interesting loadout. But the one thing about this map is where do I put the Spike Factory? I don't, I don't think our strategy is as good on this map because it's a split path map. And the... Well, I guess inflection's kind of split path as well, but this is this is split path in a worse way for the spike factory, if that makes sense. Like I don't know a good spike factory location. I'll have to think about it. I'll have to I'll have to ponder it a little bit, you know. But off the rip here, we're doing fine against their balloons. I'm gonna get a farm down on round two here. I'm gonna go for an early farmage. An early farmer. Oh, I didn't get down in time. I I was hovering in the wrong spot. I placed it down after the round started, so I didn't get an early banana. That was, um, that was not good. Okay. Let's get our spike pulled up. They're going an eco loadout. So the fact that we're stolen these rounds is kind of bad for me against eco. Um, but I mean, I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles here. You know, that's just the way it is in life. We just kind of got to stole the rounds in this matchup. Let's upgrade my farm. Perfect. Send him pinks. Send me pinks. Let's upgrade this to quick shots. Perfect. Keep it on last. All right, seems like it's doing its job. Yeah, yeah, all right. So, eco loadout with Dart and Smudge Katazili. What would the loadout be? It might be Dark Glue Village. I think I've seen people run Dark Glue Village with Smudge Katazili before. And if that is their loadout, how do I beat it? Um, not entirely sure. But <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when the bridge comes, I guess, you know? Not entirely sure how I'd play against it. Let's keep a door on last here, so it kind of tries to anti-test all their AI balloons a little bit. There's a sport solo the greens. It doesn't look like it. Okay. We're going go for another farm. We're going to use a door ability here. Boost. Okay, my door ability did not do near as much as I thought it would. I'll be honest. My door ability kind of sold. Okay, we got our spike pulled at the top. Or our uh, crossbow at the top here. All right, we're fine. We're fine. No need to fear. Ryan Mahalik is here. 
Uh, yellow balloons are gonna be a problem for me though, for sure. Wait, let's actually send them yellows. That way, put a little bit of pressure off of me because I have to force a spool on their side. Okay, we're good against all that. Are they sending me more? They are. I'll go for a trip dart here. Trip dart should be, ne be enough to handle. Yep. Oh, I'm $5 off my farm. Okay, I want to get a farm down, but we did not get it down, unfortunately. It's glue. Yeah, it's definitely dark glue village. Look at that. They get a glue gunner down on their side. I called it, dude. I called it. I called the loadout, ladies and gentlemen. They call me the loadout caller. There's the village. Okay. I feel like there's a decent chance I can kill them early game, depending on... Well, maybe not, because the rounds get stalled, are getting stalled way too much. The rounds are getting stalled way too much here. For my liking. They have plantation on my side. We'll be really greedy. They're getting their glue gunner up. Yeah, they're going to have a juggernaut, a glue hose, and a camo village is what their defense is going to be. And it's going to be really difficult for me to get through that. I might be able to get through it, though. I have a plan. I have a plan to get through it. I've got a rush plan that I think can get through it, but we're going to have to wait to execute on the rush. Okay, they stopped their eco. They're going to get their camo village up, I'd imagine. We'll go double um, double plantation on our end. I don't want to say the plan, though. Because who knows? They could be listening through my walls. They could be listening through my walls. I don't want to reveal it. We're good. Not even close. Not even close, ladies and gentlemen. We're good. Okay, that's actually really good that they spent money rushing me. That's very, very good. They're gonna have less money to defend then. They're gonna have less money to defend. I'm gonna all out them with ceramics on round 16 through boost, guys. It's gonna be the least expected rush of all time because the glue hose is not impacted by boost. All the, all the boost does for the glue hose is makes it shoot faster when it's going to glue everything to begin with. The only thing that's going to be impacted by boost is their juggernaut. But I think ceramics will be able to get through. Well, I'm going to hope they can get through. I don't know if they can. I'm going to hope they'll be able to get through. And I can also sacrifice something to speed up my balloons, which I'm going to do. Okay, let's do it. They're so dead. They're so dead. They're so dead. Let's go! It worked! It worked! Yes, sir! Let's go. I'll take it. Alright, our third and final match with the strategy, guys. We're on the map Oasis here, and this should be a fun one. Now, I'm not exactly sure on the placements here. I think I'll start with a trip dart right about here. Should be a decent spot. They're starting with the ace on their end, which is actually pretty interesting. And they brought a Zelia as well. So Zelia Ace, I mean, you know, it's going to be something weird from Pad equals K. It's going to be something odd. It's going to be something spunky from them. But we'll start with a Trip Dart, I think. And we'll get my Fate Weaver down right here with it. All right. They start with a Balloon Bot in there, and that's fine. And a Zelia, okay. That's all good. Round two. Let's, let's just save it for a farm. Let's see if I can get a round two farm. Because I don't think I need my Trip Dart yet. I think we can kind of just chill with the razor sharp shots in my uh, Dora, and this should be able to handle decently. Look at the Ace Micro coming out from them, though. You know, gotta give them respect. Look at that. They got a little, a little Ace Micro coming on. I like it. I like what I see. Actually, I don't think I will get the farm in time because they anti stalled on their end. Yeah, we'll still get round three farm. Round three farms decent. It's decent. Now, are they going an eco loadout? They're not sending me blues right now, so it might be farm. But what would the farm loadout be? They spike fact. They place a spike factory in the back. Okay. Early spike factory. Round th you don't see a round three spike factory come out too often these days. So very very early spike factory for my opponent. Round four. We'll send them some space pinks. They're still sending reds. Now they're sending me space pinks. Okay. Let's upgrade this to a trip dart. Uh, my trip dart is not targeting where I have it on last. So, you know, trip dart. That you're doing a great job there. They get their bomber race up. Nicely done. I'm guessing they went for the early spike factory so they didn't leak a life, but 
So, I mean, that's kind of unfortunate because I'd like to, I'd like to test a defense on my side for late game, but I guess there's a chance they just don't rush me, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. I feel like whatever their strategy is, though, I'll be able to kill them late game, I think. We'll have good farm money is the thing. We'll have really good farm income coming in. The second farm on our end. They still have not sent me any grouped eco this entire game. Or placed on a farm on their side, so... I mean, I'm very... Weirded out by their game game style here. Now they're sending me greens, okay. Uh, let's gonna save it for a uh, cross one on my end, which we placed right here. Crossbow has been bought. All right, we're good. Oh wait, this crossbow spot's actually bad. I didn't realize when balloons come to here, the first targeting will make it shoot upwards like this. I should have placed it like back here on last. So it was just consistent. Cause look at this, look how, look how target. You see how targeted upwards? That could mess it up quite a bit when balloons come around. Hmm. Oh well, I guess it is what it is. It is what it is. I did not think of that. They get long life spikes on there, and nicely done. So that's um, cross path my plantation to valuable bananas. Valuable bananas plantation should do pretty good for us. Perfect. Honestly, I might play this game very, very greedy. Like extremely greedy. I might go for a second plantation before I get up any more defense. Since they have an eco loadout, I know they don't really want to pressure me much, so I'm gonna take that to my advantage. In greed. They go for a second ace on there and nicely done. Alright, let's go for a spike factory right here. We'll go for a third farm. Still greeting like extremely hard. They haven't pressured me at all. Let's put this on smart targeting. Long life spikes. Bigger stacks. All right. And we'll see if I can get a round 14 bank coming in. Round 14 bank would be very good for us. Let's not die. We're good. Yeah, should we get round 14 bank here? I'll sell my crossbow to afford it. Perfect. All right, I think this game, I'll see how early I can get a, um, how early I can get a banana central on my field is going to be the plan. So I'll eco a little bit more, maybe till I hit 1k eco, and then I'll stop my eco and just start saving for banana central. That's my plan. Since they've let me greed so hard, I'm just going to see how early I can get a banana central up. My guess is going to be round 23, I think would be pretty good. If I can get round 23 banana central. Okay, there's a thousand eco, a thousand and one actually. We got an extra one for everyone watching at home. My opponent's eco's gotta be pretty bad though. They keep breaking their eco sends and they weren't sending me very much grouped eco early game. There's no way they have a good eco over there. Still no idea as to what their third is, but I like my chances this game no matter their third. Just with the economic positioning of us. Okay, we're good. They got deadly spikes on there and nicely done. Hmm. Okay, we got 3k in our bank. That's not bad at all. If they send me a rush, what do I do? I don't know. I have three boosts available, so I can boost again. I can boost greed against rushes without really sweating it. Seems like the jug itself is enough against like the black blue Nico with my Adora though, so we're kind of chilling on that front. Pretty soon here, I'd like to get a banana research facility on my side. Come on, banana research facility, come please, 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 please. Perfect. Okay. Go for one more farm. And then I think the plan will be to upgrade this to an IMF loan. Because I'll IMF loan into the Banana Central is the whole idea here. It's a Deadly Spikes on our side. Let's actually boost this so I get a good Deadly Spikes pile. Because I have a good Deadly Spikes pile, I can literally sell all my defense to get the Banana Central up. I get a good Deadly Spikes pile on my end. Sells for 8k, 12k, okay. I'm trying to do some math calculations in my head right now. I think I can go for it this round. I could be wrong, but I think I'm going to go for it this round. Wait, crap. I, oh, I got it, I got it. I did the stuff in the wrong order though. I did the stuff in the wrong order. Wait, don't die. Don't die, don't die. Oh, 
I um, <laughs> I sold some of my stuff after I got the IMF loan up. I should have. I needed to sell all of my defense before I used my IMF loan ability, because I sold some of the stuff before I got my IMF loan up or before I used my IMF loan ability. I um didn't get the full sell value on it, so I did some of the stuff in the wrong order there. But I still got the round twenty end of round twenty one banana central. So, so so round twenty one banana central guys is what I got at the end of the day. So I mean, if you guys. I think that's pretty crazy. You gotta like the video. That's just the rule. Round 21, Banana Central, you have to like the video. That's just... I don't make the rules, guys. I don't make the rules. That's just that's just the rule of Battles 2. It's the rule of Battles 2. Okay, it's it's Ace Back Village is your loadout. Alright. Very interesting loadout, I've gotta say. Now, I think one of the things that will definitely help me the most to win this game is having a good anti stole. So, let's actually just invest into that. What I'll do is... I'll get up. Let's use Chains of Fate here. No. Oh my gosh. I almost died. I'll get an Ultra Juggernaut up at the front. And I'll go for a... Let's go for a Deadly Spikes right here. Just to make sure my opponent's money is limited now. The Deadly Spikes is for Moab class balloons. Because Moab should get popped by the Deadly Spikes pretty early. Yeah, look at that. See how that works out? Okay, that seems to be working really well for us. This is going to be a good anti stole tactic. A good anti stole tactic for us here. Just to limit my opponent's eco. I almost died, though. That was w way too close. I almost died. That was very, very close. We just want to anti stole here and then um, hopefully kill send them around 30 or 32 rush and be able to kill them. Okay, we've got... The only problem with this map is there's not that many farm spots on this map. So I'm going to reach max farms here pretty soon. Hmm. I mean, I guess that is what it is. Uh, we need to get all three fifth tier farms on the field, though. So I think next farm we'll go for is a... Uh, ben is a... What's it called? Monkeynomics. Monkeynomics should be pretty good for us. This tactic, though, is working pretty well. The, the Deadly Spikes is popping all the mob class balloons down. And the uh, Ultra Juggernaut's kind of cleaning up everything else pretty well for us, so... I'm liking how this is working for us. If they send me any sort of round 28 rush, I can use my Chains of Fate ability. And then if they send me more stuff afterwards, I'll need to adjust accordingly. But the moment doesn't appear they're interested. Okay, we'll save up for a, um, what's it called now? A Monkey Wall Street. They've stopped their eco. That's fine. Oh, I'm going to be a couple hours. Wait, I got it. Let's get a perma spike now. Smart targeting down here. I have a perma spike plate. This will be a perma spike. We got a strong pile coming in. I need to get a bunch of dart monkeys on our side. In case they rush me. I don't think they'll rush me just because they have an eco load and eco strategies normally don't rush, but just in case, I need to be prepared. And our what's it called? Our super mines will go right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. I guess they're not rushing me, so let's just let's just start our sins towards them. Let's just start it. We'll send them probably a lot of space fortified BEDs is gonna be the plan. They still don't have they still don't have a um flying fortress on their side. So I don't know what their defensive plan is here, to be honest. Our, our perma spike deals with this BFB, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay. They're spike storming it. They have a sky shredder. Okay. But still no flying fortress. They're definitely dead, right? There's no way they defend forever without a flying fortress in Holman defense. They're going to be so dead here. Because I, I haven't even sold a farm yet, guys. I haven't even sold a farm. I can just keep sending these. They're sending me one. Okay. Hold the phone, hold the phone, chat. Fan club? Let's go. That ability? I don't think I need super mines here. I think this just defends what I've got. Let's send him another one. Okay, let's use um let's use my 
chains of fate against the insides here in a second. I'm going to wait for a little bit. Chains of fate. Oh, there's semi DTs. Carpet spikes. Let's go. Yes, sir. The round 21 banana central paid off, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, guys, you know what to do. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button down below. I'd appreciate it so much. But that's it for today. I'm like out. Peace, lads. Thank you guys so much for watching.